just thought I'd give you guys a little sense of uh, the heat that uh, beehives put off or what they have inside. It's about 30 degrees down here today. Pretty cold for Houston, but um, everybody's freaking out because we had some ice, a little bit of you know, freezing precipitation. No snow, just some ice. And I mean, you can see there's ice on top of the hives here. And there's, there's ice on the feed jars. But what I found interesting is on the top of every lid in the center near the cluster, there's no ice. There's no ice there. You can see where the ice is on the edge, but not around the feed jar. Same thing here, ice on the edge, but not around the feed jar. If I go over here, look at that. Oh, that's a bad, that's a no-no for me. Look at that lid's actually loose. I need to fix that. Those poor bees are probably clustered up tight. This lid actually has liquid water standing on it. This lid has hardly anything because it ran off. This one's got ice around the edge, but none in the middle. So, anyway, I just found that kind of <laughs> interesting. You know, it's, yeah, it's cold. You can see there's quite a bit of sleet piled up in there. So I guess that's what we had mostly was, was sleet. You can see on this box here, this one's empty. And so you can see the ice all the way across the top. So that's just kind of more evidence, you know. They keep it pretty cozy in there. You don't have to be real worried about your bees in the wintertime, even in, you know, way up north. <coughs> just make sure they have enough food and they'll, they'll fend for themselves for the most part. So got ice. All on the landing board. Hope they don't step out today and slip and fall. But I don't imagine we'll see a whole lot of bees flying today. So, like I said, anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Just a little example. You don't have to be worried about uh, about the bees being cold when it's cold outside. They'll do just fine inside their houses.